All right, first vocab word, pop into. Pop into is to visit briefly. Um, so today on the way to Talk Sharp, I needed to buy some medicine, so I popped into the pharmacy. Just go in, buy something, come back out. Um, Swing by, uh, stop by, yeah, yeah, pop into. So uh, I went home to the USA for a wedding a few months ago, and as I was driving to the wedding, my brother, he said there's too much dust on his suit jacket. So we popped into Dollar General, it's like Daiso. Mm -hmm. We popped into Dollar General, he bought some tape to get the dust off his suit, mm -hmm. and we went to the wedding. So it's not like shopping for a long time or doing something for a long time. You go in there, you come right back out. So it kind of emphasizes the quickness. Mm -hmm. So you say, ah, oh, you know, maybe you're going on, you know, to visit someone and you're, you're, you know, you're on the phone. Like, oh, we'll be there very soon, but I need to pop into, you know, a mart really quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it kind of makes people feel like it won't be long. Yeah. yeah. Next, bodega. Um, Basically, it means mart or a small store um, for food and various items. Um, it's kind of a Spanish word, right? That's why the example says Jorge, right? Yeah. It's, it's the Spanish version of George, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah. So in big cities, um, like I think this video is New York City, mm -hmm. and they're talking about the bodega. It must be like kind of a, I don't know, like Cuban neighborhood or something? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure, but... I'm sure in some neighborhoods they call it a bodega, especially if you go to some countries. Um, yeah. yeah, Jamie and I both live in the Midwest, and it's not, it's mostly countryside and small cities, so we don't really have big populations like that. Where in New York, yeah, they might have like some neighborhoods where Spanish is more common than English, and so you call it the bodega. And it might be a little bit special style, like, a, like the same style from a, a mart from Cuba or Nicaragua or Guatemala. It might be like similar style to that. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm guessing it's going to have like vegetables and fruit in the front, kind of like a Korean mart does. Like you can walk out and you'll see the cucumbers and tomatoes and peppers all in the front. So it's a little bit different probably from American Mart where it's like a glass door and you open it and it's all shelves. It's a little bit different style, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, lift means a ride. So um, maybe Yejin comes to talk sharp but Soo Young lives nearby and Soo Young always drives and today Yejin's car is broken so she calls Soo Young, hi could you give me a lift on the way to Talk Sharp today? Yes, I can give you a lift to Talk Sharp. The same with ride. Yes, I can give you a ride, I can give you a lift. Yes. So when I was a kid, if somebody nearby me um, was on the same baseball team, I would give, my parents would give them a lift and maybe next week their parents would give me a lift to, to the game, yeah. Um, four, stay in tight with someone to keep a close relationship. Um, the most common way would just be, um, I'm tight with. So I can say, I'm tight with Ira. We're close friends, we went to school together and shared a house together. Um, I shared the house too. Yeah, for a while, right. <clears throat> Um, right, so maybe we have a new student, and I say, hi everybody, do you know uh, Minsu? He says, oh yes, we're tight, because we, you know, we were school buddies, or soccer buddies, or something, right? So tight means close together, right? Intimate. But always friendship, yeah. It's not like... Dating, like, oh yes, my girlfriend and I, we're really tight. You can say that, you can say that, but usually it's for friendship. Yeah. It sounds a little bit cool. Yeah. So yeah, you wouldn't say it with like a boss 
or something like that. It's kind of like cool and friendship style. Uh, for mentor, it can be a noun, like a tutor or teacher, but here it's a verb, right? So I'm mentoring um, a younger guy in Korea, right? He came to Korea maybe last week, and I can mentor him. This is how you, you know, get around Seoul quickly. Here's like a, a bus map, and here's some good ideas, and don't do this, but you should do that, right? So it's giving advice, right? Uh, hustle, to work quickly and with a lot of energy, right? So, yeah, maybe somebody new at the company is really hustling. They want to do their best and work hard, 